Motor Week, television's automotive magazine. Your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Hello and welcome to Motor Week, America's original automotive magazine for television. We're glad to have you with us. Each year at this time, we bring you a series of reports on what the big three domestic car companies have on tap for the coming year. We start this week with the comeback kid, Chrysler. After some rough years, Chrysler is once again making real cars and real profits. Its strongest new models are the stylish LH sedans, but there's even more coming in 94. It's hard to imagine how Chrysler's good fortune could significantly improve over last year. The firm's LH sedans, minivans, and Jeeps are selling faster than production can cope, but Chrysler is going to try and on no less than three fronts. The first, by trying to do what no other domestic maker currently manages, build a made-in-the-USA small car at a profit. And this is the car that they hope will do it, the 1994 Dodge and Plymouth Neon. Only the name and the odd headlights were kept from the original Neon show car. The production Neon combined some of the LH's cab forward layout with the rounded look of Civics and Corollas. Wheelbase is a long 104 inches. The result is an econobox sized car with the roominess of a mainstream family sedan. Dual airbags will be standard when it goes on sale in January. Neon power is up to speed too, with a new two liter 16 valve four cylinder that pumps out a very competitive 133 horsepower. Transmissions are a five speed manual and a three speed automatic. Maximum highway fuel economy is 37 miles per gallon, while Chrysler estimates a manual zero to 60 time of 8.5 seconds. Our initial driving impressions are sound, showing the Neon to be stable and highly maneuverable with a level of finesse that matches that of the LH cars. Speaking of which, these year-old winners, the Dodge Intrepid, Eagle Vision, and Chrysler Concorde, as well as the Chrysler New Yorker and LHS, have only a few alterations for fall, but that does include variable assist power steering and a power moonroof. Output for the base 3.3-liter V6 rises to 161 horsepower. Front number two is a bold attack on the last closely held light vehicle market, full-size trucks. The all-new Dodge Ram took 22 years to get here, but it was worth the wait. Looking more like a Kenworth than a pickup, the Ram coordinates its brawny looks with a cabin that is the most spacious, yet also the quietest in its class. Ram will also offer something else unusual for a truck, a driver's airbag. Like others of its breed, combinations of powertrains with two and four wheel drive are endless. However, no competitor offers either the Ram's updated Cummins turbo diesel or gas-fired iron block V10. The same size as the Viper's aluminum engine, the V10 arrives in January, while a Ram Club Cab is in store for next summer. In other truck news, the imported Ram 50 is gone, while the Dakota also dons an airbag. A Jeep and aversion to fake wood caused the demise of the Grand Wagoneer after only one year. Front 3 is a 10th anniversary freshening of the firm's dominant minivans, Dodge Caravan, Plymouth Voyager, and Chrysler Town & Country. Unusual since an all-new van design is due in 18 months. Regardless, the different versions now are easier to tell apart. Inside, there is more change with a new instrument panel and the first dual airbags in a minivan. In fact, these vans now meet all 1998 safety standards. Top power gets a boost to 162 horsepower from a 3.8 liter pushrod V6. Other improvements include integrated child safety seats that now recline as well as protect. 10 years old and still number one in small vans, Chrysler continues to cut minivan competitors no slack. Changes in other car lines are limited. The Chrysler LeBaron is down to one body style now, this convertible. While another convertible, the Dodge Viper, adds colors and factory air conditioning. Chrysler's Mitsubishi built import sedans and wagons, sold as Dodge and Plymouth Colts and Eagle Summits, jiggle engines and add a standard driver's airbag. Bigger changes adorn the slippery Dodge Stealth. The new front fascia trades retractable headlamp for neatly flush mounted ones. While horsepower for the trend setting RT Turbo rises by 20 to 320, a six speed manual transmission will help keep the RT Turbo in front too. And from behind is how more and more competitors are viewing Chrysler these days. And it looks like the picture will be the same for 1994.